What's going on, y'all? Back with the Fit and Rich Crew Lifestyle Series. I'm getting ready to go to class. They're going to be like, what the hell is he doing? What's going on, y'all? Here. What is going on? Today is a beautiful Wednesday. I'm actually walking to my class right now. I got like nine minutes until it starts. And, uh, you know, hope everybody is doing well. You know, one of the things that, uh, you know, people try to do to become successful is they do whatever it takes, you know. That, that, that also means, uh, that also means making videos, like, all the time, you know, allowing people into their lives, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm only making this video, I'm only making this series because I just thought it was fun, I'm not even trying to think about, I'm not even using it for marketing or anything like that, just want to start something that's my own. Fit and Riches, one of my own, and uh, I planned on uh, keeping it, so, I mean, why not? Even my family's like, oh, you fit and rich. <laughs> one of the oh, things uh, that I'm trying to avoid is pressure, you know, because uh, it is the home stretch coming up. I'm getting ready for my next exam on Monday. Didn't do so hot on the last one. And uh, I'm just working my ass off, just trying to get this over with. Because anatomy is like a, it's, it's like a, you could say it's almost like a full-time job. Just because of how much uh, information that's, uh, information that you're receiving. And it's just, it may feel like it's overwhelming. The only time it's overwhelming is when, uh, um, if you have a job or something like, or something else going on in your life, but if you have nothing else going on, anatomy should be no issue. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, I actually go to San Diego State University. Best decision I've ever made. Although the, some of the classes suck, I'm not going to say what I major in, but uh, <laughs> it just blowed. But, uh, you know, because I'm in my final classes, you know, it became more enjoyable. And that was the beauty about it. I was like, this is the college life. This is what I'm talking about. You know, just do what you want to do. You know, you have time to do this and that. Why not go to a basketball game, you know? And speaking of basketball, how about those Aztecs? All day, all day. I went to those games and it was just electrifying. I went to the, uh, and one of my favorite games that I went to was uh, the, uh, New, the uh, San Diego State Aztecs facing off uh, against New Mexico. <laughs> when New Mexico came here and it was for the Mountain West season title. That was one of the best games I've ever been to. And storming the court for the first time in my life was just something to remember for the, something I can remember for the rest of my life and actually pass it on to, you know, generations and generations about that moment. Cherish your life and appreciate it. I think those are the two same things, but whatever. <laughs> What a long day. You know, one of the things that's very interesting is that I'm in right now in this traffic that I'm in. Well, well traffic flow is uh, it's all right. It's slowing down, but what's very interesting is that a one percenter 
is in here. Uh, you guys understand the term. You guys understand, uh, like you know, ninety-seven percent of the pop, ninety-seven percent of the population uh, are just basically just live on jobs. They live paycheck to paycheck, uh, and so forth. And the one percenters are the ones that. Uh, the wealthy ones. They're the wealthy one. They are. The, they are wealthy, healthy, and they are known. You know. It's about to be two o'clock in the morning, and I just finished doing some studying and doing. I didn't do a whole lot, but you know, just do a little here and there. I mean, there's only like one little section I have to cover, anyways, for now. But it's a lot. <laughs> But, um, you know, I know I talked about a lot of things, you know, 97, the, the 99 percenters, the 1 percenters, and, you know, grinding and stuff like that. It's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to make you bitch and moan, and, you know, it's going to make you want to quit. And, you know, that's just pretty much what I, that's just, pretty much something that I can't do, quit, because if I quit, then I quit on life, I have no reason to be existing here, so, I mean, it sounds pretty extreme, but, I mean, don't, don't take it, don't take it like, oh, then he's kind of psycho, nah, <laughs> nah, but, uh, you know, just taking it one step at a time, one inch at a time, I, I'm, I'm trying things new just to keep my spirit up every time I go to the gym I don't listen to music I listen to motivational speakers I, I, I get these motivational videos off of YouTube turn them into audio and just use those to work out and it's like having my own personal coach just like tell me keep going keep going keep going keep going what you doing pain is only temporary da 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 um, it's really helping me and really helping me see my vision even more and taking it more and taking more steps um, taking more steps to make my vision to a reality because at the end of the day you don't even know um, what I'm doing to get it and you'll never know until and you'll, you'll only see my end results so <laughs> um, but yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna work on a little something something right now I got another video coming in for you guys very soon um, but stay tuned for the more fit and rich lifestyle series and I'll be in touch with you guys. Peace.